we're at Maui Durham for Durham 2 meeting coverage, and with us is Dr. Sunil Chulakuri. How are you, my friend? From Houston, Texas, Thank who spoke about a few things. One of them is combination therapy, so let's start there. Certainly. So what you see and what we see in our regular practice is by the time that we do a little bit of neuromodulator, filler, the question becomes how do we extend the life of that, how do we improve that? And you do it every day in your practice. You're talking about whether we add some cutting, whether we add a laser or an energy-based device. So all that in combination with skin care, we find that we get the best results. And we're seeing results five, six, seven, even 12, 15 years out. And people are looking not just younger, but they're so much younger than their chronological age. And when we look at those 10-year shots, we look at them side by side, and you can see people are just so pleased with what they look like. I think that's interesting. Some of those studies really exemplify the duration that people talk about. Right. So if somebody says, you know, how long will this filler last? You say, well, specifically when studied in the nasolabial fold, right. there's a two-grade improvement for, and that gets extrapolated to somebody saying, well, you know, this filler, my doctor said, is going to last eight to ten months. They don't right. realize that there's still some duration there. There still may be a one-grade improvement. There right. still could be some degree of improvement a long time later. Right. And then throwing the combination of the mixed things into things, we're really seeing the benefits of a lot of different procedures we do in combination in the synergy between all this oh, for our 100%. patients. So when you come up with a treatment algorithm for patients, sure. some of it is just like explaining the timing of things. Right. How do you actually recommend the flow? So I'm glad that you asked that question because it really is it's a story. It's a journey that we take with our patients. It's not a one and done. Oftentimes in 1999, 1998, we'd say, okay, come in and we're going to do a little bit of Botox. We're going to put just a little bit of collagen in and we're done. In 2003, 2004, we started changing that conversation because we saw the Restylane when it came on the market was lasting, we thought about six months or maybe up to 12 months. And Juvederm changed that conversation again when it came out in 2008. What we're seeing now is not only are we just keeping some of that product there, but we're building it on, on it layer and layer. Some of it is just a stretch mechanism. And you see if you put some saline in, you're going to stretch some of the, the fibers there. We see that the fibroblast activity increases. So I, I tell patients that this is going to be a constant journey we're going to go through. So if you're coming in, you already look good. But let's say it's not you, but somebody else is coming in. Let's say our friend Rick comes here and we're talking about what are we going to do with, for his forehead. We may start with neuromodulators because we want to just lift the brow up and then we're gonna come back at two weeks, we're gonna go ahead and create the plan where we treat the frontalis, and then we're gonna add a little bit of laser resurfacing in there. And it doesn't have to be heavy duty resurfacing, it could be one day of downtime where you can get these tremendous results. And instead of doing that 10 or 15 days of downtime with it, we're doing one day of downtime and we can repeat it, whether it's in a month, three months, six months, and get better results. So Neil, one of the more complicated areas that we treat and really sure. advocate for our patients to rejuvenate is the periocular area. So right. specifically looking at that area, when do you incorporate microfocus ultrasound or radio frequency modalities and when do you incorporate use of injectables or laser resurfacing? It's a great question. So I'll always start with dynamic lines first. So we're going to treat the dynamic portion using neuromodulators. Immediately afterwards we can decide is there any kind of a significant hollowness that's there and if that's the case then we'll add our filler. Right afterwards, we're going to enhance our filler results, make it look more natural, and we're going to address the crepiness. And that's with our radio frequency or radio frequency ultrasound combination that we do quite often. But I'll tell you, one of the things that we've changed is before we add our energy-based device and before we even add our, our fillers, I tend to treat with a cream. And you can pick your cream of choice. I think there's a lot more research that's going on. One of the creams that we use is Bicente. Another one that just came on the market about two weeks ago is by Skin Medica. And so we're testing these and we prep the skin for two to four weeks first and we're seeing better results with that. That's really helpful information. I see you actually looking at my infraorbital <laughs> area and saying, I, I want to get to Joel's infraorbital hollows. Well, we'll trade. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us for Maui Derm, Derm Tube meeting coverage yeah. from Practical Dermatology.